Om Shanti, today is the 137th day of your Godly Blessing and in today's blessing, Baba tells us a method of introversion. Well, being a child, you are introverted sometimes. Sometimes you grow up and you leave that introversion and you become extroverted. But this is not that introversion or extroversion. God is telling us about how to be in constant remembrance of God and His Godly blessings and Godly ways and Godly guidance and to be introverted and to think about them. So let's understand how does that help us out in our daily life. So Baba says, may you save your time. That is what we do. We waste a lot of time when we come into extroversion. Being an extrovert is good, but what to say, when to say, how to say, and what not to say is very important because words come back to us. They are like those arrows which we have left and they'll get back to us in some way or the other. So we have to be very careful what comes out of our mouth also. So may you save your time and thoughts by being introverted and become a conqueror of obstacles. So your time and thoughts so you're saving your time and thoughts. That's the benefit, one benefit of being introvert. That you create limited, pure, powerful thoughts in the introversion. It doesn't mean that you are shy. It doesn't mean that you don't know how to present yourself. It also doesn't mean that you don't have enough knowledge. God is saying you are wise. So you choose your words. You talk less. You talk sense. And you talk sweetly. So... Let's go into the explanation of this. Baba says, any new powerful invention is created underground, isn't it? You see any of the scientists, they were away from any kind of extroverted activities, partying or being with people around, being friendly with people or trying to please people. They were underground. They were introverted. They didn't want any form of distraction. They didn't want extra thoughts in their mind because they had to focus all their thoughts on one activity that is to invent something or to discover something so any new powerful invention is created underground the more introverted that is the more you will remain underground the more you will be protected from the atmosphere if you get entangled into gossiping worldly talks with people be it your own family members talking about other people that's not introversion, that's getting into extroversion and that eats away your time and eats away the purity of your thoughts and that's where the sadness comes in. So God says that you will be protected from the atmosphere and the more your churning power will increase. What do we need to churn? When you churn milk, it turns into cream, right? So this is what God says. When you churn the knowledge which God has given us in Brahma Kumaris, it turns into cream cream it turns into powerful cream for the soul that means your thoughts become very powerful so that helps you all to be peaceful and to be powerful so baba says and the more your churning power will increase and you will also remain safe from the obstacles of maya when you're churning godly knowledge let's you're thinking about power to accommodate power to tolerate when you're churning about those things your thoughts are focused not on the impure not on the worldly thoughts but on godly thoughts. You're making yourself powerful. You're creating a shield around you instead of focusing on other people, focusing on the environment and getting entangled into it with your thoughts and wasting your time. You're thinking about godly things. You're thinking about what God has taught us about the Satyug, how Satyug will be, how the food over there will be, how the clothes over there will be in the golden age or heaven, how people will be going to school, what kind of technology will be there in Satyug, how the palaces will be made, how will they be made out of gold and not of bricks like they're being made in Kaliuga? So when you think about those things and those aspects of what God has taught us, then other worldly thoughts will not affect you. So then Baba says, this will increase, will increase and power will increase and you will also remain safe from the obstacles of Maya while going into extroversion. So let's say you are working somewhere, you are with your family, you have to talk about something, right? You have to do some teamwork if you're in a job or in your workplace in your business so while going into extroversion how do we do that remain introverted that means you must have seen some people who are in a team they are leaders but they talk less 
Why? Because they're thinking within. They're not talking it out. They're thinking within, using the powers to churn out the best method, the right method. That can only come if you're going within. By being extroverted, there's less chances of finding the right solution for anything in any place. Be it your family, be it your workplace, be it your teamwork or anything. So that's where also you need to be introverted. Talking less, thinking more. So Baba says, while going into extroversion, remain introverted. That means you are churning the knowledge. It's not like you are repeating the knowledge. Churning the knowledge doesn't mean you repeat the points in your mind of what God has taught you. Churning the knowledge means whatsoever you like, whatsoever there is that you have to overcome in your life, be it ego, be it jealousy, be it that you are comparing yourself or competing, competing with other people. If you have to remove those weaknesses, you are thinking about them within yourself. How to remove them? What to do? What God has taught me? That's introversion because you are making yourself as a soul very strong and powerful. Instead of focusing on others, gossiping about others, thinking about others, contemplating about others and wasting your thoughts, you are utilizing your time like that scientist in fixing yourself within. So then Baba says, remain introverted, cheerful and an image of attraction. Practice this while performing actions and your time will be saved and you will experience greater success in everything which you do. This is a very beautiful method. Some more churning is required, some more thought is required. Go into depth about what this Vardhan means. You'll understand what exactly God wants us to do. Go into depth, churn these points which Baba has told us today. So I leave you with this beautiful blessing. Have a blessed day. Stay safe. Stay home. Om Shanti. Thank you.